When you begin a project in GraphXR, your graph space will be empty. Let's pull in some data. If your project is connected to a Neo4j database or demo data set, you have several options. The quickest is keyword search. Enter a string in the search bar to retrieve a list of matches. The results will be separated by label. You can pull all the results for a label by clicking the plus icon. You can also load just the results you want by expanding a label and clicking an entry. Click on a node to select it. Pull nodes connected to your selection by clicking Expand or pressing Control X. You can expand individual nodes or groups of nodes. Note, this icon toggles keyword search between searching the database and searching the current graph space. Searching the current graph space only works if you have at least one node loaded. If you are familiar with Neo4j, you can execute advanced queries with Cypher. Click here to open the query panel. Enter your Cypher query here and click play to run it. You can store a query for reuse by clicking the plus icon. Your current query will be added to the dropdown list here. Queries can be removed from the list by clicking the X icon. All projects contain a query to return the first 100 nodes in a data set. You can also load data into Graph by dragging and dropping supported file formats. You'll need to do this if you started with a blank project, but you can add to a Neo4j project this way as well. Drag and dropping imports the entire data set into Graph Space at once. This can take some time for larger data sets. You can also import a file from the project panel. Go to the Data tab and click Import. Currently supported formats include the Graph Exchange XML format, .gexf, Hunchly exported case file zips, Multigo projects saved in .mtgx format, and zipped CSVs. The proper formatting for CSVs is covered in a later tutorial. GraphXR also has its own format. You can save and load from the Data tab in the Project.